with the man who is uncovering the great mystery behind the pretzel. pretzel. Dan Kohler. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I uh, wanted to build it up. What? I wanted to build it build up. Build it up you, because you, we want to know what makes a pretzel so unique. You know, interestingly, I think a lot of us, when we think of pretzels, we think of the shape or we think of maybe the, uh, uh, the crunchiness, the, the saltiness. Yeah. We think of something that the topping. But actually, what makes a pretzel unique is the color. It's not the dough. It's not the shape. It is this really deep, dark brown color that you mm. get. And how do we get this deep dark yeah. color? So this, <laughs> this, is the, this is the crux of it, isn't it? Yes. The deep dark, the deep dark brown color comes from a chemical reaction. And what you need for that chemical reaction is a powerful alkaline solution. Now, a lot of us time, we, we mix up acids and bases. So mm. quick chemistry lesson. We're going to roll in a, a graphic here right now. There's a difference between uh, what we call like battery acid or uh, lemon juice vinegars. Those are acidic. And then when we go all the way to the other side of the scale, where you have soapy water, bleach, drain cleaner. That drain cleaner is sodium hydroxide, which we call lie and that's really essential to this recipe. Now, drain cleaner? Drain cleaner, yes. Oh, you must you be serious? lying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like that. What? Well done, Debbie. What? <laughs> now see, what happens here with this really oh, powerful my. solution, what? because when you put dough in the oven, what happens is you're initiating a reaction based on heat between sugar and protein. And the protein that's found in wheat is called gluten. So when you initiate that reaction, it's very slow normally. But when you put acid or you put a basic solution, you put an alkaline solution there, you put this drain cleaner, all of a sudden, it breaks down those, those proteins into separate amino acids, and you change the ratio between sugar and protein and what you get is this beautiful brown color. Now if you don't if you don't want to use lye or you don't have lye at home, what you can use if you saw on that chart there are some other common bases that you have at home, other common alkalis like baking soda. And if you look at these pretzels over here, you'll see I washed these in varying strengths of baking soda all the way up to here. Baking soda has a pH balance of about Nine. Lye has about 14, which is the top of the scale. Could you tell us what pH means? Yeah, this please? is one of my favorites. So pH is actually the potential for hydrogen. So acids oh, is have. Is that what it stands Yeah. I never knew that. So acids have That's a very low potential for hydrogen. They have a lot of hydrogen ions already. So an acidic solution has a low pH. A basic solution has a very high potential for hydrogen. It needs those hydrogen ions. And so you get something that is a high pH. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's get started with this dough because it's actually pretty easy. Like I said earlier, it's not, uh, it's, pretzels aren't special because of the dough. So I've got some flour in here, a little bit of yeast that's been blooming in warm water with some sugar. Okay. Do you mean to tell me that maybe a pretzel was invented because someone was trying to kill someone with drink? Well, you know, actually. Tell them the myth. He told, <laughs> the, the myth. This he is told great. me a story this morning that was fascinating, but it's a myth. What so is the, it? So the myth of pretzels are actually that they were invented by a Benedictine monk who happened to be baking bread while someone was cleaning the, the, the abbey. And the bread that he had on the counter fell into this cleaning solution, fell into that caustic solution, that potential drain cleaner, and he pulled the, he pulled the dough out and thought, you know what? No one's gonna know the difference. I'll just slide this into the oven and we'll be okay. So he put it in the oven <laughs> and then <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> so he pulled it out of the oven and notice this yeah. bread has a beautiful color and a completely different smell. And bravo to him because it was a bold move to actually eat that dough. He could have died, but he didn't. As with all a beautiful uh, kitchen discoveries, this man was bold. Wow. So, the monks, champagne and pretzels. They're good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, right. it, sounds like, it sounds like it could be the subject of a dateline. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're right. You're so the last thing I've got in that dough, I just put a little bit of butter because it's really essential right there. You need that fat content in this dough. We're going to let this knead for another five, ten minutes, and then we let it rest. And once it's rested, we've got some dough right over here. How, do you, how long do you have to let it rest for? You're going to let it rise for an hour. An hour. Uh -huh. And that's as big as it gets? Well, this is just well, a little knob of it. Yeah. Okay. This is just enough for one pretzel. We're okay. gonna, we roll this out on the, on the counter. Boy, fresh pretzels oh. are so good. Aren't so they? good. Yeah, right out of the oven, you mm, go to the ballpark. And what you want to remember, actually, while you're doing this, is to leave it a little thicker in the middle than you do on the ends. You get that jump rope motion right there. That's good. And right. you're never oh, going to get it. Oh, look at you! You're never going to get it. Twist it, and that is the or perfect Wetzel's pretzel. Let's look at that. That's the way it used to work. You did? No, I'm kidding. No, she works at the place. Now, the last <laughs> important thing we want to talk about here is mixing your lye just to be safe. You always want to put on gloves. I caught up in one of those once. Did you? Horrible. <laughs> you got caught up in a lie? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh. And we mix <laughs> the water out well. into good. the water. You always want to mix your chemical into your neutral right well, here. Why do you do neutral. that you know, instead of the other way around? If you go the other way around, the water can splash out, and that can be very dangerous. So once this is dissolved. And where do you get lot? That's actual yeah, where lot. Where do you get lot? You know, the poison store. The place that witches actually, go to kill people. Yeah. yeah. You actually can find lie yeah. at restaurant supply stores nowadays, and you can get it at hardware stores. You want to make sure you're getting a food grade lie. So all I do is I dip these pretzels. As opposed to Drano? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, do you need to sign paperwork? <laughs> now, I just let these pretzels soak for about 30 seconds on either side, then slide them in the oven, and you'll see when they're all done. Oh. And what you can see here, actually, this is really important. You can see that color difference. So these yeah. are all baking soda in varying strengths. And then what you have here, a stronger solution, gives you that darker color and that really distinctive smell and taste of a pretzel. Mm -hmm. Would you ever eat one of the pretzels that are just right off of the pretzel thing? And, and you can taste, when you bite into it and it's still hot, you can uh, taste it. Oh, it's so it. different. It's so it, different. It, you can taste a little bit of it. And it's, it, evidently it's safe because we've been eating pretzels for years. So That's we're all right. still here. We're all still yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More information <laughs> and fascinating one, kitchen two. facts right. at renegadekitchen.com. We all hope to be back, although we all ate some the pretzel. We'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you the hottest celeb trends, and that is no lie.